What is going on guys? You see a Jaguar here with Jinjag.com and the most successful draft class in the last 10 years of Jaguar history has been the 2014 draft class. Now all these players are going into their contract year so the Jaguars management will have to make the tough decision of whether to re-sign these guys to Roger large deals or whether they will let them walk to the next highest bidder. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys who I think the Jaguars should resign and who I think will probably end up walking. So enjoy. Now the first player is very easy for me. I think the Jaguars should definitely resign Brandon Linder. Since Brandon Linder has been on the team, he's always been the best lineman on the team and he's also been the most consistent. Now offensive lineman talent is really diminishing in this league. I don't know if it's because college football players run the spread offense and they're coming into the NFL a lot less experience with more pro style sets or if it's because there's so many good pass rushers in today's NFL that offensive lineman talent just isn't able to keep up with it. But I think 95% of NFL teams will tell you that they could really upgrade their offensive line. And really the Jaguars, they're in a position where in next year's draft and next year's free agency, they're probably going to be going after some players. And why not just keep Brandon Linder so you're not as desperate going into next year? I'm already projecting Brandon Linder to be our best offensive lineman this year. So having him being able to solidify the center position for the next four plus years will really be key, I think, for the Jaguars franchise. Now the next player up is Telvin Smith. I'll put some of his career stats up on the screen for you guys. I mean, since he's entered the NFL, he's been an absolute beast on the field. And not only has he been a great player, but he's also been a crazy good leader as well. There are only so many great players in the NFL, and even a smaller percentage of them are real hard and good leaders like Telvin Smith. And you really can't have enough of these guys on a team. And one thing about the Jaguars these last couple years is they don't really know what players actually want to win, but you can tell that players like Telvin Smith and Jalen Ramsey are both guys that wear their heart on their sleeve and they really just don't like losing. They want the Jaguars to turn into the best teams in the NFL. I really think Telvin Smith combined with Miles Jack at the Mike linebacker could make this linebacker group so fast and so quick yet so athletic and physical that it'll really be exciting to see what this can turn into. Now one thing to keep your eye on is the guy that the Jaguars drafted in the fifth round this year and Blair Brown. He's projected to be the backup Will and he could turn into a pretty decent player. You may say oh he's a fifth round pick, what's a fifth round pick going to do? But keep in mind Telvin Smith is also a fifth round pick and Will is supposed to be one of the positions that is less important. Now I shouldn't say any position is less important just because every position is vital really to the team's success but at the same time positions like the Sam linebacker spot and the Will are positions that teams are a little bit hesitant to throw a lot of money at. But even with that said, I really want to re-sign Talvin Smith and I think the Jaguars will probably get a deal done with him. And the third and final player I think the Jaguars will re-sign is Allen Robinson. Now a lot of fans just don't, just flat out don't like this guy because he came after the fans after losing a game where the Jaguar fans were booing throughout the game. He said something along the lines of, the Jaguar, their home field advantage is better in London than it is Jacksonville, and that's pretty sad. Now, obviously, that pissed me off, and it pissed off all the fans, just because the fans have been seeing such a bad product on the field for so many years, and they're flat out tired of it. And Al Robinson, only being in his third year, he acts like the fans have no idea what the players are going through. But I mean, one reason why I don't boo is because I, I know the players are on the field giving effort and everything, but I know the booing is more toward the coaching staff, but I really don't like the boo just because I don't want the players to think that I'm booing them, and I don't want to boo while there's players like Telvin Smith and there's you know pl other players on the field that are working their ass off. But I think Al Robinson, this was more of a heat of the moment type of thing right after the game in the locker room talking to media, and 
I know myself, I've played sports my whole life, and after the game you have emotions going on that are really just that you can't really control, and sometimes you say things that you regret, but with all that put aside, this player can do some things that very few wide receivers can do in this league. Some of the catches that he makes, some of the high points that he reaches, and his athletic and physical ability, this is ability to high point the ball, there's probably only five or six players in the NFL that could do some of the things that he can do. Of course, he had that crazy good breakout year where he had 1,400 yards and 14 touchdowns, but last year, of course, he went down in stats. He went to 883 yards and six touchdowns, but obviously there's a lot working against him with Blake Bortles' struggles and the refs not calling any pass interference calls in his favor, but we, I think, need to re-sign this guy. Al Robinson got double teamed a lot last year, and a lot of this was due to Alan Hearns being injured for six games. It was due to not having any kind of running game the whole entire year. And when those two things happen, it's a lot easier to key on that one player that may actually have a chance to do something for the team. But yeah, those are the three players I think the Jaguars should re-sign are Brandon Linder, Telvin Smith, and Al Robinson. Now, I'm not an expert on contracts or anything. I don't know if this may get done during training camp, during the season, or after the season, but I would expect them to get some kind of deal done before free, the free agency period actually hits. Now, a couple players who I think will get deals better than the Jaguars will be able to offer are Marquise Lee. I think Marquise, I don't think Marquise Lee will be re-signed because they already have some money on Alan Hearns. They will already probably sign Alan Robinson to an even fatter contract. And they drafted D.D. Westbrook in this year's draft. And if he has any sort of year like last year, the market's going to be able to give him more money than the Jaguars will be able to spend. So I think that Marquise Lee could find a home somewhere else if he's able to stay healthy this year. I also do not believe that Aaron Colvin will make the team. Now, we're, we're going to have Jalen Ramsey playing one starting receiver spot, and then we already committed a lot of money to AJ Boye, and the Jaguars aren't going to be able to give Colvin the money that other teams will be able to give him. Now, other teams will probably be able to put him at their number one cornerback position, like if you were the Titans, for example. If you're the Titans, Aaron Colvin's probably the best cornerback on the roster. But on the Jaguars, on the other hand, he is the third best cornerback. Now, he's going to be able to be a valuable piece for our team, playing 70% of the snaps at the nickel cornerback spot. But he is going to be able to sign a contract to enable him to be an outside cornerback. Now, other players in this draft class that I didn't mention were our first round pick, Blake Bortles. The Jaguars signed him to a fifth year extension, so he's not going to be going into his contract year. And also Chris Smith, Chris Smith got traded to the Bengals last offseason, so he's no longer on a team. My man Storm Johnson from UCF, he's obviously no longer on a team. He's bounced around the state of Florida. He went to the Buccaneers and now he's on the Dolphins. There's also Luke Bowenko, and if the Jaguars re-sign him, it'll be to a very small and insignificant deal so uh, that is pretty much a 2014 draft class and it's also the more mo one of the more success successful ones in the last several years I mean the Jaguars have had some disastrous drafts you look at 2013 there's not even a single player left on the team from them and that was literally four years ago so this draft class has really helped us have any sort of success the last couple years but with all that said thank you guys for watching my video Make sure to check out my buddy Jordan DeLugo's Fred Taylor Hall of Fame deserving article. It's really well written and I think everyone should definitely take a look at that. I'll put the link in the description below. And with that said, this is UCF Jaguar reporting with JinJag.com and I'm out. Now since you guys are you know quarterback wide receiver, you guys are going to be playing together for years, right? Um, have you guys taught, told each other you guys' like deepest, darkest secrets? What? You know what I mean? He's deepest, darkest secrets? He hasn't, he hasn't opened up to me yet, but uh, it's uh, soon to come.